Hello everyone. So um, let's see the status of the IS right now. All right, so it's kind of stuck, not stuck, it's kind of stopped over here. It's saying starting WM app, WM app PLAT package. So I think we are good to go. Um, let's, I think the IS would have come up right now. So just let me close the other windows which are not required. So I'm just gonna open a tab and type localhost localhost 5555 um, and there you go the is up the username and password is administrator uh, and the password is manage m a n a g e that's the password and there you go the is is up right so before you bring the mws to a if, if, before you try to restart the mws what i want to do what i want all of us to check is that navigate within settings okay and guys uh, I'm gonna not I'm gonna not talk about what is setting security adapters or package all these options and uh, at, at one single stretch because it will just make uh, the session quite uh, unattractive I've seen many many trainers talking about each options uh, which hardly anyone would remember so you you get the significance of each options as you when you perform the uh, perform your roles right so as of now yeah let's not talk about any of those so we'll pick one by one so let's go to settings and click on um, resources there you go and see at the bottom of the screen whether whether it ha it is pointed to MWS so if you can see here it's pointing to MWS the port again you guys have to remember all the ports it's 8585 and the server is localhost that's what we had pointed to and uh, yeah so there you go there you have right so it's it, this has to be av be available without that it's not going to work out and uh, that's first settings and let's go to the second settings called jdbc pools now jdbc pools is very interested now what whatever you're seeing here right whatever you're seeing here this would not be as what you're seeing right now it would be completely different right it would be completely different uh, if you guys remember this particular option oracle x11 i think this is an option that we had selected or provided at the time of the installation of our uh, web methods product suite so for the very first time of your product installation you you would have seen the, you would have, you would see this name to or been pointed over here now what is this functional alias definition is all about so let, let's talk about that right so if you see here there are three options one you have functional alias definition again it's alias that's the reason if it's alias which means it's been referred somewhere else right and then you have the pool alias definition function as the name it says it's for functions all the functions of web methods the trading network is internal archive all the functions right and the pool alias definition right so what does this mean now let's we need to go back to this particular diagram um, right so just let me go back to this diagram um, let me remove this oops uh, sorry guys okay look now uh, there you go now what do we have in this Oracle database where the product as where the product is installed right if you, if you remember we created three users right web is web is and web mws and web archive we created three users <coughs> and uh, we associated the components and tables to this particular user right so we created three users and we kind of associated right i think we associated this to here and trading network as here as well and bpm yes we have associ associated over here so which means that you need to please understand you need to configure this particular user web is in 
uh, oops again in here we need to configure here and how do we do that you need to select you need to select the first option which is create the pool alliance definition so I'll just show that <coughs> click on create pool alliance definition and I'll say alias name is web is you can write any description of your choice then the driver alias is oracle so this is oracle driver and you need to provide the url string which is nothing but this url string right and then user id web, web is is a user and the password is admin123 and you just give the default connection and then test see the test is successful in a similar way i have created this uh, web is as you can see i have created this so let me zoom in a bit okay see as you can see i have created it and then once it's created i'll go back here and i'll just test it <coughs> once the test is completed i need to point all the groupings right for example for is this is a grouping this is a grouping right we have we have group what are the groups for the is if you guys recall this is a group for is this is a group for is and for trading network we have grouped it these are the components as well and for bpm this is the one and active transfer anyways we are not using it but still i've kept it i'll remove that so adapters we have grouped it of all the functions central user plays a key role central user needs to point to a particular pool alias definition if it doesn't get pointed then that's we have a, we have a problem yeah, we have a problem so how do we right so once once this web bias is created you need to click on edit and then in the drop down you need to select and save it so you need to do it for all the functions so i'm just going to remove this for uh, yes i don't want to keep it anything for the archive so uh, rest of them i've just written as it is just let me delete the oracle xc which is no longer required now i'm going to create it for <coughs> archive so just see how how it's going to work out so create pool alias definition i'll say web archive so web archive this is the archive and admin one two three i'll just gonna go with the default option and this is for used for archiving used for archiving and uh, <coughs> the url of course the url this is this is very important um, right and i'm gonna select oracle just gonna say test test is successful i'm gonna save the settings and archiving i'm gonna point archive to this particular table archive as you can see you have web archive web base and i'm just gonna remove the unnecessary aspects of it okay and at the bottom of the screen you can see you have the driver alias definition which means the product itself is providing the sql drivers oracle drivers and everything so if you click on any one of the edit option you can see these are the drivers that have been provided already that is the reason once you select edit if just let me do that um, let me go to alias definition and if i click on this oracle driver it's providing the driver settings for you guys that's what it means so remember uh, remember this once you save anything in this jdbc pools you need to restart either you can restart by clicking on this shutdown immediately restart or the best and the best practice go back here in the profiles just la let us navigate to this bin okay okay so this is for mws okay so just let's, let us navigate to this path and we'll say restart dot back that's it that's how it's going to restart now while this is in process of restart we will bring the mws up so let's go to this particular path for mws right so cd mws so sorry um we need to bring the mws so let's go to the mws path and i'm going to say start up dot bat that's what i'm going to do but before you do that 
there are certain checks you need to do for an MWS to come up. The first check is that navigate to server, navigate to server default and in the config open the MWS db.xml. Please open this particular file, right? So you need to open this file again under MWS server default MWS server that particular instance and config open this particular file and you need to make sure that two things are correct one the first for and foremost thing is that the driver is it correct check the URL is it correct check the user is it correct and the password and if you believe that if any one of them is wrong uh, you need to change it and save it before you restart the MWS if any one of the parameters are wrong MWS is not gonna come up please note that so if you if you, if you don't know since the password is AES encrypted right so you don't need to worry you can actually change to admin 123 123 and save it and when you say when you click on start dot bat uh, this password will be automatically encrypted for you so since i've done that since i've just saved saved it right now right so this is not not going back okay so saying right okay i can go back that's good so that's about it so just save it and restart it so we're gonna restart mws now not restart i'm mean, gonna start the mws now and we'll say start dot bat Uh, it says it's already running. That's odd. Okay. Make sure. Just let me check that. Uh, the. Okay. Right. I don't know. Um, says that. Just let me stop it and bring it up. Um, oops. Sorry, guys. So okay. Seems that MWS has already started. All right. I. Okay. Great. So I think I've started the MWS. Okay. Um, right. So I think I've started somewhere and I've missed it, guys. But that's how it is. You need to start dot bat, and once you start dot bat, uh, you can see here. Um, there you have the integration server. If you can see, you have the integration server here, and you have the MWS server here. Right. So. That's how it is. Okay, please make sure that your db.xml is is configured properly before you bring the MWS up. Okay, and then you need to select start.bat. Right. So once you have selected start.bat, MWS will pick up. And you guys, one more one more important point. I know there's too much to take in, but um, yeah, I can't help. This is web methods. It's kind of a most good and the complex product that we have worked on integration. So any instance that you create, any instance that you create for say, for example, you're working on MWS. If you have started, then how can you verify it started? You can check there's always dot lock <coughs> and wrapper dot anchor will be created. Always, if you start the instance, you'd always see dot lock and wrapper dot anchor. And it is true even for IS. Let's see for IS. Let's go back and check for IS bin you see lock and wrapper and even if you navigate to uh, the other we, we, we showed you right two to three parts where you can navigate let's go for integration server instance default bin you can see dot lock dot locks here it's the same now do not delete dot lock if you delete dot lock then your is or mws is going to shut down as simple as that Okay, IS or MWS is going to shut down. So do not delete dot log at any cost or even wrapper dot anchor. So just let it go with the flow. Don't delete dot log or wrapper dot anchor. So <coughs> if there are any issues while you have brought the MWS up, um, I would uh, I would encourage you to look at the logs and logs can be available for MWS under this particular path. I'm just going to show you the logs. Um, there is one logs you can check over here which is again profiles mws logs profiles <coughs> mws and logs or you can go to mws server 
default and logs you can check full dot log error dot log see all these things we will cover as as and when required but when you try to post any query in the forum in general the you the te the technical audience they would request you to provide full dot log or problem dot log or even as a matter of a platform or SAG OSG logs wrapper dot log all these logs are important so I would request you to guys to look at these logs uh, in case if you find any errors while you're installing or when you're trying to bring the MWS up um, for anything you can always send a message or type in the comments uh, about the error and we'll try to figure that out okay so um, and yeah that's what that's one more point and second point is that if if everything is configured properly please remember that MWS would take a hell lot of time to come up for the first time ideally I've never seen an MWS that has come come up within 5 to 10 minutes I've seen it varies from 20, 15 to 25 minutes minimum uh, or at least 15 to 20 minutes for sure okay I, I've seen that it varies somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes okay so you need to have a bit of patience uh, while you're bringing the MWS I think I've started the IS itself uh, sorry the MWS and the IS so let's see see about IS uh, right so okay see restart is required I think I've done a mistake uh, instead of restarting IS I had restarted I have started the MWS that was my mistake uh, if you guys remember that I told you to go navigate here shut down and restart the IS right so and I said the best practice to do is that navigate within the um, within the profiles and restart the IS right so accidentally I have restarted the MWS but it picked up good so anyways so I'm just gonna restart it from here so this is the command restart dot bat so I'm just gonna paste it and see as you can see anchor file found deleting it to stop platform that is wrapper dot anchor so now IS is going to restart now let us see about MWS since anyways we have restarted it there you go guys congratulations MWS is up and running and the username is administrator and manage let's see there you go again congratulations to all of you who have successfully installed web methods and successfully brought is and mws that's good and this is the best options that you get in a free trial uh, if you have paid versions you you're gonna, gonna you're gonna gonna see more of it i think most of you guys who already are working on mws i think there's a more most options uh, more options than what you're already seeing right now uh, if you're working on brokers um, i think they would have the broker settings as well so but anyways it's a free trial so this is the best you can get out of it um, either the way so which is good guys is and mws is up so i'm just gonna log out and i'm gonna stop the mws um, i'm good mws bin and i'll just say open and i'm gonna shut down the mws shut down dot bat so as you see anchor file got it and it's deleting it and um, mws is going to shut down and let's also shut down is2 let's shut down is2 so by that uh, not shut okay by that shut down dot bat okay there you go all right so by that we conclude our uh, session on bringing the is mws and everything up i think this was a quite a good session that we have enjoyed every, during the path so uh, starting from downloading the software till bringing the is up and running so in the next subsequent sessions we are going to see how to work with the uh, product itself when we say work how to code right so thank you guys and well done you guys have completed the first part of the uh, course okay thank you